Hi, this is Rich from Slingfin. In the following video, I'll be showing you how to set up the crossbow too. If you have the optional footprint, lay it out over a clear and level surface. The package includes fly sheet, tub footprint, web truss, two body poles, a bowl pole, J stakes, and extra guidelines. First, you will lay out the tub footprint and stake the corners. Angle the stakes away from the center of the tent body to have a more secure anchor. Next, lay out the web truss so that the O-rings are facing down toward the ground and the reflective tabs are facing up. Connect the web truss to the corners of the tub footprint at the O-rings using the ridge clips. The web truss can remain attached to the tub footprint for future trips. If you later choose to use a mesh tent body or ripstop tent body with the crossbow too, simply unclip the web truss from the tub footprint and clip the web truss to the new tent body. Extend the body poles and bulb poles, carefully making sure the end sections get fully seated into the adjacent sections. Do not allow the end sections to snap into each other. This could cause damage to the ends. Insert each of the body poles through the reflective loop found at the end of the web truss. Push the pole all the way through and insert the pole tip into the grommet tab. Find the Velcro tabs at the corners of the tub footprint and wrap them around the body poles. Pass the bowl pole through the webbing at the top of the web truss. Insert the end into the pocket at the end of the wing of the web truss on both sides. If you are using trekking poles, you do not need to use the bowl pole and you can leave it at home saving 4 ounces in weight. To utilize your trekking poles, adjust the length to approximately 42 inches. Wrap the Velcro attachment located at the end of the web truss wing around the handle of your trekking pole. Stick the tip end of your trekking pole into the ground. Connect a guy line with clamp cleat from your accessory sack to each o-ring at the ends of the web truss wings. Stake out the loop end of the guy line cord to the ground. This will be the same stake location as the fly sheet vestibules. Find and lay out the fly sheet over the web truss. Clip the corners of the fly sheet to the outside o-ring at each of the corners of the tub footprint. Next, you will stake out the vestibule of the fly sheet. You can adjust the tension of the vestibule by tightening or loosening the tension buckle. Finally, you'll want to connect the fly sheet to the web truss by using the door ties and o-rings located on the underside of the fly sheet. These connection points will have corresponding guy out loops on the outside of the fly sheet so that you can properly secure your tent. And there you have it. Thanks for joining the Slingfin family. We hope you enjoy the product. And if you need any more information, go to slingfin.com.